Hey guys, it's Will here from WTF Car Reviews and today we're gonna to be reviewing this brand new 2021 Toyota Camry. Okay guys, so before we start, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Mosin from Wesley Chapel Toyota for making this review possible. Uh, not only is he a great guy, but he also has extremely impressive product knowledge and along with their kind staff and impressive inventory, I'd definitely recommend anybody in the Tampa area to come check these guys out and ask for Mosin. So for those of you guys who don't know, the Toyota Camry has been in production since 1982 and this is the eighth generation and let's check out and see what we have so very nice profile not many updates this is the same generation camry that we've had for quite a while now but this vehicle is a little bit different so we'll check out why wesley chapel toyota is the company to go with when it comes to the toyota camry but anyway, this is the Toyota Camry LE. You can see your very nice taillights and typical Toyota side profile. Uh, but anyway, let's come right around front. So here you have your signature Toyota Camry styling with your Toyota badge in the front and a nice little spoked grille with a flat gloss black panel in the middle. Uh, so come around down, your grille continues, you have gloss black uh, panels all going through the side. Very nice grill. Very signature design too. So over here you have your projector beam headlights and these are very nice headlights. They work very well at night and they're extremely bright. Uh, but anyway, as you can see inside, this vehicle has braces in front of the radiator. Uh, so this vehicle probably handles extremely well. We'll check out under the hood, see what's under there too, and see if the performance of this Toyota Camry matches its handling capabilities. Uh, but coming around front, so here you have your tires. So these are Bridgestone Copia All Season Plus tires. And uh, these dimensions are 215, 55, 17. So these are 17 inch rims and they're pretty nice. So they have your aluminum Toyota rims and you have your pretty large dual piston brake caliper in the front. So very nice, very nice wheel. And you also have nitrogen filled tires. So it's nice that they offer you that. Uh, but anyway, you also have a nice little stripe that runs all the way around this 2021 Camry LE. But okay, uh, if you also can tell, this vehicle has tinted windows from the factory and that's not very common when it comes to factory four-door sedans. Uh, you see them a lot more when it comes to SUVs, but for factory offered vehicle to come with relatively dark tints. It's just not something you see very often. But anyway, let's step back and get one last look of this Toyota Camry. Okay, so since this is a relatively base Toyota Camry, uh, you do not get smart access, but you do have a nice little switchblade key. But anyway, let's unlock this Toyota Camry and see what we got inside. Okay, so, since it's a base model, you're not gonna have anything too crazy over here in the interior. Uh, you do have soft touch materials here up on top where your elbow will often rest with a very nice brushed aluminum trim that leads very well, very good fitment to your aluminum door handle. Uh, but anyway, you do have hard plastic alongside over here with more hard plastic on the rest of your door panel. And uh, not leather wrapped, but this is padded and padded decently softly too so not bad not bad more hard plastic coming down but you do have very good storage capacity down there and up here you have four power windows uh, but let's check out these seats so yes these are power seats with power lumbar so very nice very very nice to have on a base package and these are extremely soft cloth seats and you do have decent bolstering extensions so you're going to be relatively supported in these very soft cloth seats uh, but anyway let's step inside so immediately you see your Toyota steering wheel now this is not leather wrapped this is just a soft padded plastic steering wheel uh, but it has very good 9 and 3 slots has decent bolstering extensions over here and yeah overall very good feel uh, let's move this window sticker we're not gonna look at it right now but okay so coming around here you do have stitch leather going alongside your Camry. You have stitched leather over here, very, very high quality materials 
for a base model especially, and you have a padded soft plastic dashboard. So that's also very nice to have. Okay, um, so before we check out the rest of the features here, let's take a look at this window sticker. Uh, so this vehicle stickers for under $30,000. So the only um, options that this vehicle has are the uh, pro package, which gives you floor mats, the stripe that we talked about, the tints, and the nitrogen filled tires. Uh, you do have the permit plate for $600, and this vehicle does have a lifetime warranty. So that's another thing that this dealership specifically offers. Uh, but anyway, so base MSRP on this car is $25,900, which you can get with basically no options at all. Uh, so, of course, this vehicle has a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine with 203 horsepower and 183 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, not bad at all. This vehicle does have the new 8-speed transmission, which does a pretty good job. And hopefully you guys can really see when we take this car out for a drive. But anyway, this vehicle does have collision warning. It does have uh, ped pedestrian detection. It has dynamic radar cruise control standard. It has lane departure alert standard with steering assist, so it will put you back into your lane. Uh, of course, you have your tracing assist, automatic high beams, uh, road sign assist, uh, star safety system. Of course, you got your backup camera and a one-year trial of the Safety Connect system. Outside, of course, we already went over the features. Inside, you have your seven-inch touchscreen, as you can see right there. It's a very nice touchscreen. And you also have six speakers with hands-free Bluetooth and music. And you have USB ports all over the car. Uh, you do have Apple CarPlay with Android Auto. That's a great feature to have. And uh, the vehicle comes with a full tank of gas. So that's your standard, standard features that you can get in a $25,900 Toyota Camry. But anyway, let's put this back on the dashboard and ch take a look at all the other features that this vehicle has. So there's your touchscreen, of course. You have a very nice piano black trim over here where your climate controls and I guess audio system controls are. Uh, but there you have it. You have your manual climate controls, uh, no automatic climate, unfortunately. Uh, but carrying around side along with your high quality materials of course that are over here you have a glove box and it's not lined with felt or anything uh it is damp though so you do get a nice little high high quality feature in terms of that but anyway uh coming alongside over here you have your trash control settings you do have your um auto high beams you have your gas tank and trunk release with your hood release down there but that's about it for this 2021 toyota camry uh, let's go in the back seat and see how the space is back there Okay, so stepping into the back seat of the 2021 Camry LE. So up top, you do have hard plastic for your passengers. Elbows will rest. Uh, you do have hard plastic down here, but you do have the same nice aluminum panel that matches flushly with your aluminum door handle and a nice little padded armrest for where their arms will be. Nice little storage compartments down here with power windows. But let's step into these seats. Now you have a ton of padding on these seats. They go all the way out to basically the door. And I really haven't seen a bolstering extension like that before. And of course you have your very soft cloth inlets. But anyway, let's check out this legroom. Ton of legroom you'll see right now. So I'm six feet tall and I'm sitting behind my seat settings and I have a ton of space. So at least uh, six inches of legroom remaining. I have a ton of space for my feet. So your passengers are going to feel very good sitting in the back seat of this 2021 Toyota Camry. Uh, unfortunately, you do not have vents over here for your center console. Uh, however, that is an option on the higher trims. You also do not have map pockets behind your driver's seat, but you do have one behind the passenger seat. And uh, you do have two cup holders inside this very tough to access center console for your passengers. And uh, it's very padded, very nice for them to have. Overall, very nice. But okay, that's basically it with the front and back seats of the 2021 Toyota Camry LE. Uh, let's just check out the trunk space. Okay, so let's check out the trunk space of this 2021 Camry LE. So you press and hold the trunk button and the trunk actually pops up open completely for you. Unfortunately, you don't have struts, so this will crush your cargo if it's loaded all the way to the top. But let's check it out in here. A very wide angle to put stuff in, like check this out. That is huge. So you can basically fit anything size-wise into this trunk. However, you are limited because of the size of the rear legroom. So your trunk space is not gonna be the largest, but since the opening is so big, you can just about put anything you need back here. And I don't wanna make it sound like this is a small trunk anyway, so it's very competitive with a mid-size segment, but the legroom in the back seat is fantastic in this car. So for in terms of trade-off, you're really not losing too much. Uh, so one more step back on this Toyota Camry 
L-E, but let's start her up and hear how she sounds. All right, so that's of course the sound of the two and a half liter four cylinder offered by Toyota for the Camry. Uh, so let's check this motor out. All right, so unfortunately this vehicle doesn't have struts. You're gonna have to deal with the prop rod, which is oddly located right here. But okay, there you have it. So this is your two and a half liter four cylinder engine offered by Toyota. This engine makes 203 horsepower and 184 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, so this vehicle is relatively decently powered, uh, but let's check out, you can check out the chassis. So you do have braces uh, in front of your radiator as we saw earlier, uh, but that seems like it's about it. You don't have any braces over your strut tower. Uh, however, this is extremely stiff and it is located over your strut tower. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this vehicle handles. And oddly, uh, the battery is located on the driver's side. Uh, so you're gonna be adding a little bit of weight where you don't really need it. However, since this vehicle is Japanese, I would imagine that it's gonna be the same way in their market. And when the driver is on the other side of the car, I guess the battery being located there actually helps. Uh, but anyway, let's shut this hood and check out the interior of this Camry with the car on. Okay, so stepping in here with the car on. So you immediately see you have a nice analog white labeled speedometer and a white labeled tachometer. Uh, you do have a nice little infotainment screen in the middle. So here you have a bunch of different information. You have your tire pressure, you have um, all sorts of settings. So I'm not really sure what all of these settings do. However, you could definitely check out a tutorial on the infotainment system of this vehicle. But anyway, here you have your uh, touchscreen with Apple CarPlay. You can see your average miles per gallon. You can see your music. You can see your Bluetooth information. You could also choose what you're looking at while you're driving. So you can choose to see audio, phone, apps, uh, projection, your settings, all that. And here you have your map that is not installed because this vehicle is not in equipped with navigation. However, that is an option that you can get in higher trims. Um, it's odd that you still have the map button however uh, it makes sense because if it is available for the higher trims you could just simply not install it for the lower trims but anyway here you have your selections for music you have your skip you have your phone you got apps here you can your tuning and your volume but coming down you have your very nice air vents i'll turn it down in case the sound quality is affected uh, but very nice very nice do have a nice power port with a usb port there too and this shifter does have nice leather trim on the outside, uh, but this is still well-grained rubberized plastic. But all in all, it's very decent material. And this um, center console, pretty large, honestly. You open it up right there, and you can fit quite a bit of space. And honestly, I'm impressed. And it's very soft, so. And it's a big console. You can easily fit two arms back here. And you got your very nice rubberized cup holders. But all in all, that's basically what you get with the 2021 Toyota Camry. Uh, but that's about it. So let's take this car out for a drive. Okay, so stepping into this 2021 Camry LE with the car on. Uh, so let's take it out for a drive and see how this vehicle performs. And obviously we're gonna be turning, putting our seatbelts on, but okay, let's go. Very light steering, that's the first thing I noticed. Okay. Very good response too from this engine. You immediately feel power when you turn the wheel, but this steering is extremely long. That's another thing that I notice right away. Yeah, very long steering. But the handling is good. When you're making the turns, you definitely don't feel any roll. And the brakes are extremely, extremely tight. 
But okay, let's do a nice little acceleration run. Yeah, this vehicle definitely has some pickup. Definitely, definitely has some pickup. But okay, let's turn around real quick. See how this turning radius is. And oh my gosh, this is a fantastic turning radius. One more acceleration run. Yeah, this vehicle can move, guys. This vehicle can honestly move. So it doesn't weigh a lot. And the acceleration is honestly pretty, pretty impressive. It feels like it's faster than seven seconds, zero to 60. But checking it out over these bumps, it handles them absolutely fantastically. This is a comfortable, comfortable vehicle. I understand that it shares a platform with the Lexus ES, which is extremely luxurious and very, very popular. But you're honestly not really compromising too much compared to that vehicle. Uh, yes, of course, it has a better engine than this vehicle does come standard. However, this engine powers this car very, very well, especially with this eight-speed transmission. Check this out over here. Let's try this bump. One more bump. You don't. You barely even hear it. This is this is a very nice, very very nice sedan. And I was expecting it to be like a dog when it came to acceleration, but it is it is not a dog at all. It's very responsive off the line for like everyday driving, and it picks up in the higher RPMs, of course, with a variable valve timing engine that's a big characteristic but okay one more big bump you barely barely even feel it and it is really really quiet in here I'm very impressed with what Toyota has done uh, but all in all let's wrap this up uh, please definitely check out the inventory of Toyota at Wesley Chapel these guys are absolutely fantastic um, I'll link the names and numbers below but definitely check them out. These guys are really, really cool. They have a lot of cool cars. They have several Supras on this lot. Uh, hopefully one day I'll be able to do a review on one of those. All in all, this car handles very well. It is relatively quick. You will not be disappointed with its performance at all. Um, so compared to Camrys of the past with their old motors, this is a very big improvement when it comes to performance. And also this chassis, since it has braces and relatively stiff, supports you do have a very good ride matched with a pretty luxurious suspension but yeah all in all you don't need a lot of gas pedal in this car i would definitely recommend it to people who want an affordable family sedan uh, but that's about it guys i really enjoyed filming this video for you i hope you enjoyed watching it uh please subscribe like comment let me know what to improve on uh, but that's about it so thank you very much and have a great day